to welcome aboard the all-new Sea Ray Sundancer 320. Truly a great boat that blends the best of cruisers and also large day boats. Today I'll walk you through all the features and benefits of this great new cabin cruiser. We'll start here at the app. Great storage compartment. This is, gives you access to your shore power, also your water. You can see that with our hatches and with our doors, we use an A-side finish on both sides. So it gives it a nice clean look. It's also strut assisted, so you don't have to worry about the door actually falling down on you as you're reaching in. Another thing that we do here at Sea Ray is we use cam locks in addition to just latching. So what that does is that's gonna snug those doors down nice and tight to prevent a lot of rattles when you're underway. There's also a second large storage unit. Again, opens up, gives you great place for your lines, fenders, shoes, water toys, and again, strut assisted so it's not gonna fall on you as you reach in. The Sundancer 320 is also available with a rear sun pad with a swing gate. So instead of the storage compartment here, you'd get a large sun pad that really opens up the aft of the boat. Another available option on the Sundancer 320 is a submersible swim platform. The platform actually drops down just below the surface of the water. Makes it a very easy to reboard the boat, great for kids, also great for your four-legged friends as well. A couple of key things to remember when you're operating the swim platform is one, the keys to the ignition must be in the off position. You must then enable the platform on the dash and then your button to actually operate is located here on the transom walkthrough. As we enter the cockpit, you'll see this uh, has the upgraded Premier Stereo system from Fusion. We have switched over to Fusion Audio for 2019. So you have your rear transom remote so you can control your stereo uh, without ever leaving the back of the boat. Also your optional transom washdown and your transom door. A few other things to point out that on your swim platform, there's several different options that are available. One is the standard non-skid as you see it here but you're also, it's available in Sea Deck and also Teak. In the cockpit, we have the option here of the infinity flooring, uh, but you can also get Teak, the Sea Deck, uh, or standard marine grade carpet. A lot of different options are available in the cockpit. On the solid surface gourmet station, you can get the optional electric Kenyan grill, optional refrigerator. There's also dedicated trash storage and a full functioning wet bar. Other available options on the Sundancer 320, as you can see, we've got the Sure Shade electric shade. So you can tell today it's hot, it's bright. This allows us to bring the shade all the way uh, to the back of the cockpit. Push of a button uh, right here and it'll retract. Also table options available for the Sundancer 320. Standard table uh, with the fiberglass top or with the teak overlay. Additionally, here in the cockpit, we've got convertible seating. So in this here, you're facing forward on the port side. Simply push the seat forward and now you can face aft and join the social zone in the back. The Sunday Answer 320 comes standard with an aluminum arch. This version we're showing with the optional hard top. Also available with the optional hard top is the hard top opening. The canvas enclosure slides easily back to bring the natural light into the cockpit. Also new from auto year 2019, C-Ray has switched all of our audio systems over to Fusion. We've also switched our electronics packages to Simrad. Joey, why don't you take us through uh, some of the details of the new audio system and some of the new Simrad displays. So on this boat, it's equipped with the Premier Audio package, which is a Apollo 770 head unit from Fusion, two NRX 300 remotes, one located in the transom and one located in the bow. It also has an SRX 400, which is located in the cabin, which gives you an independent, discrete zone from the main system on the deck of the boat. And in addition to that, you can actually go into the system and tie the lower cabin in with the upper cabin. Great, Joey. That sounds like a lot of functionality on the boat. Um, a couple cool things about it, it is flush mounted, so different than some of the head units you've seen from us before, it is a great sleek look. Joey, tell us a little bit about the gauge packages and the Simrad units that are available this year. So in the Sundancer 320, we have a standard boat with gauges, your regular digital gauges. Then we have two upgrade options, one being dual 9-inch Simrad GOES, and then we have what's shown here is the dual 12-inch GOES. Um, in addition to the dual 12s and the 9s, you can also get a VHF and you can also get radar and marine weather. 
Now, what about vessel view from Mercury? So the vessel view from Mercury um, is a unique feature for us because we've been able to use a SIMRAD functionality versus having to put a separate display on the boat. Um, when you go into it, it uses the Mercury vessel view link just like any other vessel does, except it displays a full page gauge cluster versus having to have a separate display. And with that system, I can actually stream that directly to my mobile device as yes, well. Can yes, I you not? can. Great. Well, thank you, Joey. Also here at the helm, in addition to the electronics packages, you can see standard redundant uh, switches as well that will operate your lights, your windlass, uh, other critical functions of the vessel at this, as well. Your Linco DRS control system is also located here at the panel, as well as your throttle. Unique thing with the throttle is you can actually go single lever, so instead of having to worry about throttling both engines and keeping them in sync, simple push of a button, use of one throttle, and it'll run both engines. Also, this is equipped with Axios with joystick, so this gives you the ability to turn this boat within its own length, easily to back up the boat, great in tight spots at the marinas when you're waiting for fuel or you're getting in and out of your dock. Uh, makes it super easy uh, to control your boat with joystick. Also gives you the skyhook feature. Skyhook is basically a digital anchor. Uh, press the skyhook feature and it's gonna engage your engines and hold you in place and maintain your bearing uh, where you're at in the water. So this is great if you're waiting to get in for fuel, or you're waiting for a bridge to open, any number of reasons why you wanna hold your position in the water. Also the captain seat and the companion seat both have flip up thigh bolsters, uh, so that way you can comfortably sit or stand uh, when you're underway operating the vessel. And additionally, you have an, another storage compartment here at the helm, so it's a great place to drop your wallet, your phone, other smaller items. And then also you have your cup holders, your VHF radio, and also your cockpit air. As we make our way to the bow, if you get the optional bow table, storage is built right into the side keeps your table out of the way when not in use. But also unique to this cruiser design is the port side walkthrough. Your traditional cruisers usually have to climb up and through the windshield or around. Very, very hard to access underway. With the new design on the Sundancer 320, it's very easy to access the bow space through the port side walkthrough. Once you come to the bow, again, very unique to the Sundancer 320 is a recessed bow and a cabin cruiser. So as you can see, it gives you this great space Great layout, but recessed to where you feel comfortable while you're underway accessing the bow. You can see great loungers here on the bow. Uh, again, you have your armrests that fold down so you can stay nice and safe and secure and comfortable. Also, as Joey mentioned earlier, you have another head unit to where you can operate uh, your fusion stereo system from here, as well as additional chargers for your electronics, cup holders, and additional fusion speakers here in the bow. This is also shown with the optional bow table. And you can see we have the infinity carpet all the way up through the bow. Here up front on the bow rail, this is equipped with the windless uh, anchor system uh, and also the optional spotlight. Down below, you can see the spacious cabin, large hull side windows, both port and starboard, brings lots of natural light down into the cabin. Also, the V-berth converts to a bed using a high-low table and a filler cushion to comfortably sleep too here in the bow. You can also see the additional TV here in the cabin. So tucked away here in the cabinet is your electrical panel. So this is where you switch over from generator to shore power, also your ignition switches and control all of the electrics on the boat right from down in the cabin. As you enter the cabin on your port side, you'll see you have your refrigerator, your microwave, there's also a small cabinet opening for your coffee pot, and also additional storage and cabinets below. This particular boat has our Prestige Cherry package. It's also available in a driftwood, which is a little lighter wood tone. Also below, you can see the large head, solid surface countertop, glass bowl sink, additional cabinets below, as well as a medicine cabinet up top, and a shower as well. So here below in the midship, you have a sleeping quarters, single beds, two single beds, but they also slide to convert using filler cushions into a full queen bed. Also additional storage with cabinets on both sides. Additional cabinetry here. And another large cabinet on the other side. So thanks for joining me today aboard the all new Sea Ray Sundancer 320. Please visit SeaRay.com for more details.